Greetings everyone and welcome to our second video in the cost volume profit analysis series. And in this video we're going to be talking about how to calculate profits or how many units we need to sell to make a certain amount of profit or how many sales dollars we need to have to have a certain level of profit. So we'll jump right in with an example but before we do I want us to have the equation that we can use to calculate these numbers. Now these equations are very similar to the equations I gave you for break-even, but they're just slightly different. Okay, so the first one we'll look at is a target operating income in units. And this equation is going to be fixed costs plus, I'm going to abbreviate here, target operating income. So whatever target operating income you want, $10,000 profit, $20,000, whatever, whatever it happens to be, you would put that number, you would add that to your fixed cost in the numerator, and you'll divide that by the contribution margin per unit. So very similar. So we're wanting it in units. We divide by per unit. And then, if we want the target operating income in sales dollars, so very similar to our break-even equation, except we're going to add target operating income to our fixed cost. And we're going to divide by, divide by the contribution margin ratio, which we learned how to calculate the ratio in the, in the prior video. So now we can look at the example. The following information is available for Conte Company. So we're given some information here. How many units must be sold to meet the target operating income? So let's look at the, the question here. How many units must be sold? So I need to focus on one of these equations, and it happens to be the first one, because that's the one that we calculate a per unit for. So what I'd like for you to do is push pause on your player and calculate the number of units that must be sold to meet the target operating income of $90,000. Okay, so using the first equation, you should have come up with a number of 30,000 units to get a target operating income of $90,000. Well, what if we wanted to use the income statement approach? What would that look like? Well, we know that certain things are variable constantly in our income statement, and that's sales. So we're given sales per unit here of $30, or $30 per unit, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for units to make this $90,000 of profit. We also know that variable costs change depending on how many units there are, so that would be times x as well. Fixed costs do not change, and we want this to equal $90,000. Okay, so all I have to do now is solve for x. So to do this, 30x minus 21x is 9x. And you want to get x on one side by itself, so I'll add 180 to both sides. So 180 plus 90 is 270,000. Then I'll divide both sides by 9, so x will equal 30,000 units. Okay, so either method will give you the same answer. 